Hello everyone, welcome to a 20 second tutorial to a beginner's guide on how to wrap it. This time, we will be doing ramps. So, 20 ways to do this. Let's start with the first one. Go to architecture, component, model in place. Now, since we don't have ramps here, you can do stairs, special equipments, or generic model. For me, I'm going to use generic model. You can name it as ramps. I will name it as is. Now, it's a good practice to set your work plane before starting. We're going to pick a plane. Then, we're going to pick this face right here. There. Now, I'm going to click right. So, now I'm drawing in the section version of the 3D. Extrusion, I'm gonna go here, click a line, I'm gonna pick here at this corner, I'm gonna do something like this, then again, right somewhere there. That should work then just fine. There, okay. Now, I'm gonna press finish. From here, does it look finished, right? So, our next step would be aligning. So, align, click this face right here as well, and snap here. Now, here as well, align, and this one. Okay, looking good. Now, we gotta do a material, but first, let's check the material of this floor right here. All right, so cancel this one. Let's use this, just copy paste that, go back to the generic model we did, sorry, edit in place, click the extrusion here, paste what we just copied, and apply, and finish, there. Let's check the elevation first by going to annotate, and spot elevation this one okay should be 300 all right then it should be zero there and should be zero inside here as well okay looking good now we join the generic model in the floor itself by going back to where's modify modify join here and here there now let's go ahead and delete these parts right here next let's first remove these elements here since the placement seems a bit awkward okay now another method of ramping is to use the ramp itself in architecture let's go back to ground floor let's do a view range first since our ramp here is missing Let's make this to negative 500. There. Now, head to architecture once more. Ramp. Before we proceed, I gotta explain the dimension parameters of the ramp first. Let's go to edit type. In this area right here, dimensions. The maximum inclined length is the maximum amount of rise a ramp can make before it needs a landing to make another ramp again. Because if, a, if said ramp doesn't put a landing, it will become too steep and that's no longer a ramp. That will become a slide. So we can actually control that by changing this value right here. So right now it's 1000 millimeter. So let's change this to 20, uh, let's say 5000. Then I'm click apply. So to fully understand that, let me demonstrate it first. Let's make one run here. If I were to make a straight run, you will notice that no matter what I do, it has a limit. And as you see here, over there, it only says until 5,000 millimeter, which is exactly what we have here, right? So if I were to make a dimension here, it will show us 5,000. Then here, we need to make, there's probably 17,200 left. So that's like almost three and a half more runs. So if I were to click here and 
click something like this, a landing will, auto be, will be automatically made for us. So let's do this like two more times there. And last one, since 2200 is remaining, should be a half. There we go. Okay, see? Look how the landing was automatically made for us. So if I were to click finish and look at it in 3D, wait, let's change the thickness first or rather the shape to thick so we can see it properly. There, look at that. This was the first run that we made and look how it's only until here because if we were to make it from ground floor until first level, it will, be, it will become very steep without the landing. So that's what that option does for us. Now, if I were to change that to, let's say, um, 30,000. And go back to ground floor and delete this and do it again from the start. I can now make one long ramp reaching from ground floor to level one so if i were to click this go back to 3d you will see how steep it is if this was wheelchair accessible the wheelchair will just slide through it which is of course realistically is wrong so next in dimension parameter is the ramp max slope select your ramp once more go to edit type and this one right here so what this actually means is just it increases the slope angle it's quite difficult to explain, so it would be better to demonstrate in section. Let's leave it as is and click OK. Let's go back to ground floor. Zoom in here a bit. You know what? Let's delete these sections here since we don't need them anymore. OK, and this one is already done. We can remove this generic extrusion that we made earlier. Selecting the RAM, go to edit type. Sorry, create similar. Edit type duplicate now if you wanted to make a ramp that will reach our garage entrance way let's make this to 1800 and let's leave this as six apply okay and let's draw here hopefully the direction is okay but doesn't matter we can rotate later on let's move it here and if my calculations are correct this should be perfect so let's click finish go back here Go to 3D, sorry, right section, and there we go. It matches. So let's check the elevation next. Let's delete, let's delete this now. Oh, also, if you've noticed, just like the stairs, the railing are automatically placed once we've done a ramp. But since we don't need that, let's go ahead and delete this and go to annotate. Spot elevation should be negative 300. This spot should be zero and here as well okay everything seems to fit perfectly so next we'll just increase the sketch let's go back to ground floor and align this area right here and here all right next if we click back this one go to edit type we also have the capability to change the material so choose whatever you want and lastly the shape if i were to make this solid you will notice that here it will reach the ground floor or rather the lowest level so if i were to click apply look at that it's going to match the ground floor level instead of its own thickness so okay next up we'll be using floors to make our ramp Let's go ahead and delete these things right here. Let's go back to ground floor. Now, go to architecture, floor. Let's go ahead and sketch a rectangular floor for now. And something like this should be good. Now, you will notice here, there's a slope arrow. So, before we click finish, let's go ahead and make a slope arrow here. Doesn't matter where you want, here or here. But the direction of it is important. If I were to make it like this, the slope will be coming from this corner to this corner. As I will show it when I click finish and go back to 3D. 
nothing happened yet but there's a very slight difference to fix that let's go back here go to edit type sorry go to edit boundary click your slope and let's increase this to maybe 600 there now you see the difference also if i were to change the offset here to let's say maybe 100 sorry again go back to edit boundary here if i were to make this mm, let's say negative 300 click apply and finish there you will see the difference so now let's go ahead and fix that let's place this back to zero delete this make a slope arrow from here to there sorry should be negative 300 again there we go but of course unlike ramp or extrusion doesn't have the capability to do a solid fill so now that's done let's try another one again go back to ground floor from here edit boundary delete the slope that we made let's see if it's equal now go back to ground floor once more click this and click sub modify elements now here you will see some points at each corner simply add the value that you want so let's click here or rather here in the middle so that we don't have to click both points just click just click sorry just input the value negative 300 just click outside or press escape go back to 3d there same outcome right we can also do a sub modify element from 3d as well here so for example if i were to make this to negative 300 they will both be on the same level there and if i were to increase that to the same thing just one corner only that one corner will rise there see that now to make things more interesting let's put a bit of a design let's go back to ground floor let me delete this and start from the scratch How should I do this? Should be something like this here. Let's add a value to it. Maybe 50. Sorry. 500 I mean here let's do it this part okay now let's add a sub modify points to those never mind everything's already been properly placed so let's just make this to negative 300 copy paste that same goes for this air right here there and here as well Let's add a point here. Okay, seems good enough. Now let's change the material to the same one that this one has. I believe it was concrete something. Wait, something seems wrong here. This should be zero. from negative 300 to zero okay so everything seems good apart from the material let's go ahead and duplicate this let's change this to ramp let's use concrete
OK, OK, and apply. All right. Seems good enough. I don't find it that fancy. You know what? I'm going to use the generic extrusion instead. Bear with me here for a minute. We can do this fast. There. Let's change the material to concrete situation. Sorry, concrete cast, cast in situation. Finish and join. Let's check the elevation. Okay. So I guess that's it for this RAM tutorial. For the next video, we'll be doing curtain panels, then roof next. So we're almost done with our model. Just, just a few more tutorials. And I guess that's it. So for questions and suggestions, please do comment below. And if you find the tutorial helpful, you can support me by liking and subscribing. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much, guys.